I was diagnosed 32 and a half years ago and I um, carried on working full time until only seven years ago and that was when I began to feel really um, immobilised. I've only been diagnosed uh, two years, everything's happened really quickly and uh, when I was first diagnosed because of the symptoms I was experiencing uh, I was just happy that they found something wrong with me and could do something about it so I was quite relieved actually I was diagnosed just five years ago. I was into my early 50s then. And um, at that age, it seems that you get the primary progressive type of MS, which um, is a slow but sure downward hill decline. And um, it shook me rigid when, because I've always been A1 fit. Yes, I just take it day by day now and just try and enjoy what I can, you know. When I was diagnosed, you didn't really get a lot of help. You never had an MS nurse. It was like you, you went for your MRI scan and your lumbar puncture. You've got MS, ta-da, and that was it. But these days it's completely different because we have MS nurses, you've got you can see a neurologist, you know, and it, it's much, much better. When I was diagnosed, it was total shock. I thought it couldn't happen to me because I was a PE teacher. I was active. Why have I got this, you know, sort of thing. And, and as, as Brent says, there was nothing. There was nobody to say, come to me and I'll talk to you about it. There was nothing, was it? Nothing at all. I was taking the hospital, they did all the tests on me, the MRI and everything, number puncher. And that's how they found out that I had these. And it was quite sort of moved me for why me? What have I done wrong in everything? That's what goes to you. That you must have done something wrong. The haven't have always been active in you know, work and everything. The diagnosis though wasn't confirmed until January of 2011. So uh, comparatively recently it was mis misdiagnosed for a, a long time. MS is a difficult uh, illness to uh, accurately diagnose. So it, it was a bit of a shock uh, to finally get uh, what I think is the correct diagnosis and uh, I was very down and quite low for several months after that but um, having started coming to the classes that's that's been one of the things that's really helped me um, take a more positive attitude uh, to towards my condition and towards life generally. But it's very hard when you when you first get that diagnosis it is crushing no other way to describe it and it takes you a long long time to, to find a way through it. Stay positive, don't uh, accept that this is a condition that you're stuck with that you can't do anything about. Um, there are lots of uh, therapies that, that can be helpful but a positive attitude is, is the most important thing. Exercise is, is really helpful, it, it um, not only helps the condition but it helps your state of mind as well. Take time to, to consider it for yourself, um, in your own time span you will find a way of coping. To someone who's just been diagnosed with MS I'd say just go away, take it in gradually, just day by day, you know, simple little pleasures. It naturally curtails a lot of things in life but um, you make up in other ways but uh, you're never the only one with it and that's the thing to bear in mind. You've got something, but well, everyone's got something. If you look around the world, there's people going hungry and what have you. It doesn't matter. They get on with life. Whatever it's thrown at them, they just carry on. So they do. And we know there's people worse off than us. We understand that. Um, but we just get on with it and that's it. Yeah. You know, it's either sink or swim. For about a year, you go into denial. Yes. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you just have to say, you know, just keep yourself going, keep yourself as active as, and laugh because it's easy yeah. to smile and it's yeah. easy to you cry like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Stay confident and optimistic. Um, the way things are developing in the big world, uh, I'm sure there'll, there'll be a cure or something along the line. 
if not just to stabilise people and make people better. It's not the end of the world.